Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this smoke trail effect in After Effects and that too without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Now before we start, I want to know what you guys use for creating these kind of smoke trails. Is it particle systems or with animated masks? I really want to know that. So comment down below. So in After Effects, I already built a scene. If we go into this BG composition, you can see it consists of a PNG image of a hand, which I designed in Photoshop and a solid background layer. Back in the main composition, I created a shape layer and renamed it Thick Smoke. After that, with the pen tool, I started creating the first smoke line. I adjusted its points till I was happy with it. I twirled down the taper property and changed the start length to 64 as well as the start ease to 64. After that, I changed the wave property values, setting the wave amount to 40, the wavelength to around 350, and animated the phase with a uh, time expression, which is time times minus 40, which already started making the smoke move in an organic way. I added a wiggle path with the point set to smooth, size set to 20 and detail around 2 and wiggle per second to 0. As you can see it added a bit more variation to the smoke line. I added an wave warp effect by going to effect, distort and wave warp. Set the wave width to 100 and the wave speed to 0.4. Now the wave warp effects need to be pinned. If you don't pin it, it's just gonna wobble all around the composition and nobody wants that. So in my scenario, I changed the pinning to center so it doesn't wobble around and stay fixed to a center point. After this, I duplicated the layer and renamed it Thin Smoke. I lowered the stroke thickness to 30 and started adjusting the path to give more variation to the main stream. I changed the wave face expression for this layer to negative 50 so we get a different wave. Also set the wave speed to 0.7 and the wave type to circle to get more variations. I had to readjust the path a little bit again cause I changed those values but it wasn't too bad. At this point it was looking good, but the overlapping paths weren't merged together. If you take a closer look where the paths crossing each other, the connecting areas looked really hard, especially around the edges. I pre combed both the smoke layers and added a Gaussian blur effect set to 15. After that, I added a level effect and changed the channel to alpha and play with the alpha input black and white values and that kind of merge those paths together and make it more smoother. One thing to note that since we are blurring the pixels and reintroducing them again, we end up getting this jagged edges around the comp. So I end up duplicating the Gaussian blur effect again and putting it after the levels with a smaller value. And for the final touches, I lowered down the opacity of the smoke comp added an adjustment layer with some noise and posterized time set to 12 fps and that's it it's done as you can see it's a really versatile effect and you can do so much variations with these techniques so make sure to download the project file in the description and go bananas with it as always if you like this tutorial leave a like any questions you have regarding this tutorial please comment down below i would love to answer them all Share it with more people so they can learn these techniques. And finally, subscribe to Motion Nerds for more tutorials like this. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.